but right now I think I'm just trying to figure out next steps to like what my brand is like I don't want to just be a youtuber I like or someone on Instagram or TikTok like I want my name to mean something and I want to truly build a long-lasting brand good morning so first I start off by brushing my teeth. I've been using Hey Humans toothpaste which comes in an aluminum tube which you can easily recycle. I've also tried tooth tabs as well but I've been really liking the Hey Humans toothpaste because you can get it with fluoride. Then I will head into the kitchen and get a glass of water. Now if you're interested in the makeup routine I will show that in another video. I always like to start my day off with a glass of water and once I fill up my glass I will head over to get some vitamins by Megafood. Megafood is a really great company. They use high quality ingredients. I use their Women's One Daily, their Blood Builder, which is good for someone like me who always has low iron, their Vitamin D3. My Vitamin D has been a very low. I also use their turmeric supplements that help with inflammation and I have a code for you guys if you're interested. I really believe in the brand and the products and I've worked with them in the past. This video is not sponsored but I just wanted to show you what my actual morning routine is like. Then I will go ahead and start to unload the dishwasher or clean up from the day before if I haven't already. And I like to make matchas in the morning. Now, because I don't have any milk in the fridge, I'm gonna go ahead and make my own with my almond cow. Uh, and again, if you're interested in discount code for this almond cow, I will link that down below as well as on the screen. I, again, don't buy anything you don't need, but if you are interested in purchasing any of these items and have a code, I definitely wanna share with you guys so you can get that discount. I'm gonna go ahead and make this oat milk. But what's really cool about this is that you're saving a ton of money because you're not buying store-bought milk and you're saving on a ton of waste as well and you can also upcycle the pulp to make things like cookies or granola which is really cool and this is just a great way to know exactly what's in your milk instead of the store-bought milks because if you ever notice if you look at the ingredients of the store-bought milks it's not just almonds or water there's other things that go into it so i like how you can make your own you know exactly what's going into your milk and it should last you about uh, five to seven days give or take And now I'm going to go ahead and start to make my matcha. Now I'm going to do it the lazy way, which is to blend it instead of whisking it. So I just fill up my uh, blender with milk and then I'm going to add the matcha as well as a little bit of maple syrup to sweeten it because the milk is not sweetened at all. And I'm just going to go ahead and blend it. Again, this is definitely the lazy way and not the traditional way of making the matcha, but it does the job when you're busy and you just want some quick matcha. Usually I have some yogurt, this is vegan yogurt, and I'll add some fruit to it like berries and I'll also add a little bit of granola as well and some chia seeds. And now that we have our little breakfast, I go ahead and eat my breakfast and then I get started for work for the day. On Mondays, I like to write out everything it is that I need to do for the week. Mondays are more of planning days for me. So I write this out in a notebook as well as a notion. And if you want a notion tour, let me know in the comments if you're interested on how I organize my life, my content and everything. Um, and so I'll just start looking through emails and Mondays again are just the day to kind of go over, look at, go over everything, look at analytics, you know, play some music while we're at it. And I just kind of get in the groove of things and, uh, that's how I start my day and I'm just planning out everything for the week. All right. So right now I'm trying to film a whole bunch of YouTube videos this week. My goal is to get three months worth of videos done in two weeks. This is the second week. Um, definitely very <laughs> difficult, but mainly the reason I'm trying to do it is because I want to focus more on building out TikTok, which I don't know. I feel like I'm too old for TikTok, but brands are interested in it. So I'm trying to build out my TikTok, but I feel like I can't focus on building out TikTok and posting the TikTok three times a day if I'm like doing YouTube videos, which take a very, very long time to film. And also I'm like not going to have my manager anymore. 
and I decided to like take on my projects myself because it makes more sense from a financial standpoint right now. Um, but I think I'm just trying to figure out, you know, what next steps are and like, cause I feel like there's so many different platforms. There's YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, and all these different things. So I am trying to like use YouTube as like the main platform and then take pieces of content from YouTube videos and make it into other pieces of content for Instagram and TikTok. Do you want to get these YouTube videos like up and edited and scheduled? I hired an editor. We'll see if like the, I don't know, we'll see how much that, um, helps because i'm just also weighing numbers as well like spending you know a hundred spending like two hundred dollars to edit a youtube video is like a lot considering that that youtube video may not be making money like yes there's ad revenue but it takes a lot of views to make ad revenue like if it was a sponsor video then sure like that cost would be covered but since all my videos are not sponsored it's just a lot of money so i'm just trying to figure out what's the best use of my money right now um because i don't have an unlimited budget we're grateful and in, in a great position where i don't live paycheck to paycheck and like i know that there's money coming in but i think it's like trying to figure out what's next steps for my brand and for my business if you've been following me for a long time like you know that like i was out here in la struggling i'm in austin right now and uh, you saw me in my tiny little la apartment and now we're in our you know big austin apartment living the best life um, I've come a very long way and I'm super grateful that all of you guys are here. I know when I started my YouTube channel, this was a little over a year ago, I think. Yeah, has it been a year? When did I start it? Was it last year? Yeah, and I like rented an Airbnb, was it last year? Two years ago. I think last year. I think it was you. We in an Airbnb and shot for like 14 videos in two days because I really wanted to get this YouTube up. Um, so I'm so happy that there's over 10,000 of you, which is crazy. And I really appreciate all of your support and all your comments. It really means a lot. But right now, I think I'm just trying to figure out next steps to like what my brand is. Like, I don't want to just be a YouTuber. I like, or someone on Instagram or TikTok. Like, I want my name to mean something and I want to truly build a long lasting brand. Um, and yeah, those are things I'm kind of like, you know, going on in my life slash head right now. So we'll see.